Hello, I decided to do this tutorial on how to refill using uh, aftermarket refill ink, refill the brother LC39 uh, color and black and white cartridges. I saw some other videos online, but they were either not in English or they weren't as straightforward. So I was hoping to maybe help out a few people here. Now take a knife or a screwdriver and just kind of pop off. It doesn't take much to pop it off. You want to pay attention to the two springs. You want to go ahead and keep track of those. Make sure they don't go anywhere and put the top somewhere where you're not going to lose it. All right, so now you can see what the two things you want to pay attention to. You're going to be refilling it actually in this formation, but this one up here, an air valve, and then this one here is where, this is where the printer sucks in the ink. It sucks it in here. This is for the air. You're going to hold it in so that when you put the ink in here, so that when you put it in, air pressure doesn't back up inside. Now you may ask, why is it that you cannot just open up the whole thing? Because the way Brother has now done most of their cartridges and more and more manufacturers are going to this thing, they did it in such a way that if you open it up, like you can't put it back together. It's designed that way to prevent you from refilling it yourself. One more thing I wanted to mention is that this is the same starter ink cartridge that actually came with the printer out of the box. So this is an actual brother um, ink cartridge. I had someone buy for me a refill kit from a supermarket called Tesco Lotus located in Thailand. And it comes with inside the cartridge, it come, or inside the re refill kit, and it comes with this syringe. Now I'll go ahead and put those together and get right into it. it the refill kit, the way it happens, the bottle will have a uh, aluminum cover and then you peel off the aluminum cover and then it will reveal a like a rubber stop. So what you do is you take the syringe that you put together and you just poke it in through the rubber turn it upside down and then just suck it out suck out the ink alright so then what you're gonna do you're gonna take off the actual needle point of the syringe and first you wanna suck it in just a little bit and then take off the syringe part and here's our cartridge again now this part right here, let me make sure you can see. This part right here is where you, is like the looking glass where you're going to see whether it's full or not full. So, uh, this is where you're going to see where the ink is filling up. This is the air valve that you're going to hold in, and here is where you're going to plug, uh, put it in, put in the ink, and refill. So you got to do it, you can do it upside down like this, but I don't recommend it. It gets quite messy because you never know exactly when it's filled. So you want to hold it this way, the same way that it would go into the actual printer so that you can see exactly how full it is. So it's going to be a little bit awkward, but it only takes like a minute. So you put, you take off the needle part of the syringe and just use just the syringe by itself. Hopefully you have one that's a good size. I don't know what size this is but it's the one that came with the refill kit so it worked and you just put it in like that hope you can see so that part is in uh, you gotta hold it because it will come out if you don't hold it so you gotta kinda use both hands here and then you hold this part this part here you're going to push it in slightly or you can push it in a lot if you want but the main thing is to keep it open so that air doesn't back up in there if you try to just put the ink in without uh, releasing the air valve then pressure will build in and it could actually uh, could damage the cartridge okay um, as you can see most of it is full uh, and it got a little messy but what I was actually doing was <clears throat> I was actually uh, testing different things and it looks like uh, sometimes if you stick in here if you stick it in too much there's a little um, stopper like in the middle same like here the valve shut off valve here on this one 
there's also a little stick that uh, sticks out there's a little pointy thing that sticks out so it will actually block the hole from the syringe so you just have to kind of get it um, you just have to toy with it a little bit you don't have to push it in all the way you can push it in like some of the way like part way in and that should be good enough and then it should flow smoothly if it doesn't then that means that the syringe is being blocked so anyway you just have to just you just have to keep playing with it a little bit and uh, there's actually I found out later that there's actually a, a much better um, kit there's one there's a special type of cartridge you can buy in Bangkok but I'll go over that later and all you do is just refill it there's just a specific hole that you refill and you just refill it and um, that way and it's much easier I don't know why the manufacturers design it this way um, I think it's called planned obsolescence uh, when you make a product on purpose so that the the consumer always has to keep relying on going back and buying only your authorized oh it's uh, it's full good it's finally full okay so we just pull it out it's finally full after all that and there you have it so now only thing you have to do is clean it off a little bit then you just need to put back on the top you, you put back in the two springs it may be a good idea to put them back into this part first and then you can always uh, wiggle it into the other half later so it's a good idea to put it put. there's two grooves you'll see them they're pretty obvious there's two grooves inside and when you're putting it back on the good news is it snaps right back into place and there's only one way it can go on so it's kind of difficult to confuse and yep you just yeah it's easier to just put the springs in this part first and then just line it up here you line it in and uh oh I didn't show didn't show in the video you just line up the spring and then just uh, snap it in and if you did it correctly it should just slide right back like it was before and then all you have to do is just reinstall it into the printer and uh, print out something that you know prints well in fact I should have said this at the beginning but it would be probably a good idea to print something out with just the regular ink that you already had and then print the same thing something in color print it out again and then you can compare it to make sure that the ink quality and everything matches up but yeah I mean I, I did a test page so far with the other inks and uh, it prints out beautifully so anyway with that said thanks for watching I hope this video helped you refill your ink cartridge